Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the Break the Cycle website at sfhelp.org. This website is composed of eight self-study lessons that, in my opinion, as a veteran therapist and educator, every adult on the planet ought to take. What I've discovered in being a therapist with over a thousand people in the last 30 years is that there are three major problems that cause personal, couple, family, societal troubles. They are psychological wounds from early childhood trauma, unawareness of a number of specific topics, uh, those in the course, and incomplete grief. Our society in America does not do a very good job about educating people on what is healthy grieving, how do you do it, what blocks it, and if you're not finished grieving something, how can you tell, and what effect are you likely to receive. Lesson three in my website uh, focuses on these important questions. Uh, you'll find in lesson three a description of the three levels of healthy grief. Can you name them? Most people can't. They are mental, psychological, and spiritual. You'll also find a number of losses. There are two types of losses that we all experience, all humans, all animals. Uh, most people, when they think of grieving, think of death. Understandable. What they don't think of is loss of a number of abstract things that are just as powerful, just as painful, and require just as much healthy grief. For example, over half of our society, American society, is, experiences the trauma of divorce. Families break up. Divorce causes major losses of things like invisible things, like security, trust, self-respect, personal identity, important relationships. Those losses hurt just as much as losing your hand or losing your mother or father or a child. They require healthy grief. Most people don't think about it, don't recognize it, and those who are psychologically wounded tend to avoid the pain and the confusion of healthy grief. As a result, many people experience physical and emotional problems. For example, in my professional opinion, a fair amount of what is diagnosed as depression is really unfinished grief. Not always, but frequently. People routinely do not know that. So, I'm here to invite you to, after you study Lessons 1 and 2, which are prerequisites, study Lesson 3 to find out what you need to know about healthy grieving. If you're a parent, I particularly encourage you to study this lesson so you know how to provide what I would call a pro-grief family, meaning one that helps people understand and do all three levels of, quote, good grief, unquote. So please do spend time, invest your time, studying Lessons 1, 2, and 3, Healthy Grief, um, and you'll find your lives and your families work better. Okay, if you want to find the web address of this lesson, please look at the description of this brief video introduction. Thanks.